Hey guys, I'm doing a seat review for the Kingsong S22. This here is the Pips modular seat. Uh, it's called modular because it comes in two parts. You've got your seat cushion and then you've got your mount. So these actually come in many different heights. This is the normal height and this is like the tallest height right here. I put this foam on the cushion because uh, it feels a lot better. The seat itself is pretty squishy. But again, I put it on here because, I don't know, it just feels better on my butt. Um, so the way that you actually put this seat on, pretty simple. You've got these grooves right here that are cut out. You line it up with the back of this right here. And then you can kind of tap it in until it reaches the alignment with the back of the base. This seat actually features a speaker mount, which you can put between the cushion and this handle right here, however, I don't use it and it blocks the display right here anyway. It's also really easy to just put a speaker ooh, on the trolley handle right here. So, right, As far as the functionality of the seat, it is way better than the stock seat. First thing is it goes way farther back this way than the stock seat. It's got great back support in the rear of the seat and it's a lot taller than the stock seat. And all those combined make for a really comfortable and awesome ride. And you know, this is what it looks like as you're riding. Super comfortable. Great height, good ride. So I initially got the tallest uh, cushion right here. And while it makes for a great seated ride, I found it to be unusable. Because as I'm riding standing up, it actually hits the inside of my legs when I'm trying to do sharp turns. So the seat cushion comes in three different firmness levels. I only recommend the softest one. I even have a friend who's over 200 pounds who uses the softest one on a daily basis and it works great for him. This is the N Motion V11. This is the stock seat. I used to think this was a great uh, seated riding experience until I rode the S22 with this new seat. However, that wasn't the case with the S22 stock seat. This experience was nowhere near as good as the V11. But when I got rid of the stock seat and upgraded to the Pips modular seat, this seated riding experience outperformed the V11. The only downside I can think of for this seat is it makes it a little difficult to pull out the lift switch. However, it's not too big of a deal and everything else about this seat is great. Currently, I think this is the best seat for the S22. The only other one that I know of is from Clark Pads, but it's a whole system and it costs about $300. Uh, so now I'm going to show you some footage of me riding. I like your soul, baby. You got that